Hey fam, Junius here. I thought that I could help alleviate your stress and pressure for those of you who are currently doing biomed right now, trying to apply for medicine, by asking my man Jahin on how he studied and aced the UCAT. Anyways, let's get started. Yo, big man. Yo, what's up? Hey, Chi. How you doing? Good. How you big? Oh, the shit. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Uh, so first of all, Chief, what did you score? Um, my UCAT score was 3,010. And putting that on the UCAT calculator, I think the official one, it was like 97th percentile. Oh, big man. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so first question. How did you start? What was the first thing you did to prep for UCAT? Um, the first thing I did was look through a lot of YouTube videos YouTube about videos. past students who went through the UCAT. Um, I, I guess that really helped with um, getting a sense of how other people that did really well um, studied for the UCAT. And I felt like that was the best way to start, like to get the concepts in my head, like, okay, this is what I'm up against. This is how other people um, went up against this exam. And yeah, that's where I started. And I did a little bit of research around um, what sort of sources I should uh, study from. And then I just got into it pretty much. Nice. Were there any specific YouTubers that you followed? Um, there is this one YouTuber that I particularly liked. His name is Karma Medic. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys can probably search them up. Search, search them up on YouTube. He's Karma Medic. Yeah, he's really good. Okay, uh, what online resources did you use, Jahan? Um, so I used an, an online website called Medify, and they have like a huge, huge question bank of like past questions and UCAT type questions. And I used it because heaps of YouTubers recommended it, and they did fairly well, Karma Medic being one of them. And I used it and it was very good. Like looking at the questions there and when I said the actual UCAT, they were like pretty, pretty similar. So I felt like um, Medify was pretty good practice. And pretty I think good. the cost was justified. Yeah. Worth the, worth the cost. Yeah, I think so. Okay. How did you find the practice exams on Medify compared, compared to the actual exam? Quite similar. I think the actual exam, the maths part was a bit easier and... The patterns? Did you find the patterns a bit easier in the actual one? Oh, the patterns, yeah, and the actual one, the pattern was way easier. Yeah. Same, um, I found that too. Because Medify actually had like so many like patterns because I actually didn't end up finishing the whole question bank. I only got through like 40% of the pattern ones and that was after like spending hours of pattern recognition. Um, and then I got to the actual one. It was like super easy. Like I just knew all of them from doing Medify. Yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah. Is there any tips you would like to give to the viewers today? Um, make sure your practice is like efficient. Um, you could be doing like, because, okay, UCAT's a pretty fast paced exam, right? Like there's heaps of questions you got to do real quickly. Um, at the start, when you're starting out studying for the UCAT, you want to make sure you get, you have the right sort of way or technique about going about the questions. You know what I mean? Okay, like, yes. Yeah, so you, you don't want to rush it at the start. You want to take your time and do it properly. Exactly. Yeah. So you look at the question, say it's like a maths question, one of the quantitative reasoning questions. Like go through it slowly and make sure you get your like thought process correct. And then over time, speed will like gradually build up as you get more confident. But like right at the start, if you try to just go really fast and like, um, you know, rush things, you'll, you'll get a lot, a lot of it wrong. And you will also miss out on learning about like learning the thought process because you're just going too fast. Also, would you recommend people work on UCAT a bit each week or like cram it just before the UCAT? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I think most people last year did cramming. Cramming is what most people, yeah. Would you agree? Did you cram? 
I did a bit, but then I crammed as well. You know, like a bit each week and cram. Okay, yeah. How about you? Um, I got Medify like before Sem1 started. So I, I did a bit before Sem1. But like during semester, I was too focused on doing my other papers. And I really didn't do that much practice. But after the exams finished, I got like right back into it again and started cramming for like two or three weeks. I guess it's not really cramming. Two or three weeks is a pretty long time. But yeah. that, that was enough practice to do well. Okay. Say you are stuck on a question. Would you recommend flagging, skipping, or choosing random answer, not even flagging? What would you do? Um, I think that depends. Uh, you two, um, UCAT is a pretty, f it's a really fast paced exam. So if you're stuck on a question, generally you want to flag and skip. And that can be done pretty quickly if you know the, the commands like the keyboard shortcuts. Because you don't want to, you want to get the easy questions done first because each, question's, each question is worth the same amount. Um, yeah, flag and skip. Do the questions you can really quickly and then come back to the hard ones because you flagged them and you like, you know, there's like a page at the end where you can like click on the questions that you flagged. Okay, uh, keyboard shortcuts. Did you use keyboard shortcuts when doing the UK, like a uh, calculator? Yes, yes, definitely. Um, I think you hold down Alt and then there are heaps of shortcuts you can learn. Like Alt C is bring up the, brings up the calculator real quick. Alt N is for next question. Um, Alt P is for previous question or something like that. Um, and also, when you're using the calculator, try not use the number buttons that are like on top of the keyboard. Like try use the numpad on the side. Um, I actually ended up buying like a keyboard just to practice my like number pad thing. So like I could literally press Alt C, get the calculator up, and then then like just type whatever equation I need to in, in the calculator without actually looking at the calculator. Now keyboard shortcuts does save you seconds, and seconds are definitely important in the UK. Oh yes, I remember early last year you were reading speed reading books. Oh yes. Um, okay, so. There's a section of the UCAT called VR, which is verbal reasoning. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So verbal reasoning, um, you get 11 passages to read and they're fairly long passages and you get two, oh, 22 minutes total, which means two minutes per passage. And then you have to answer four questions as well. And like, there is absolutely no way that you're going to finish reading the whole passage and then like answer the questions. So I researched a bit into speed reading and it really didn't, I really didn't um, achieve much with regard to speed reading because I didn't read much as a kid. I don't know. I felt like there were some people that could read really fast and like answer the questions. I ended up going with a method where I would read the question first and then pick out some keywords on what the question was asking and then go like search through the passage really quick on and try to find the answer. So that's kind of the technique I went through, but um, I did end up practicing a bit of speed reading in the end and I'm not too sure if it worked or not, but I, if I probably dug into a bit more and like did a bit more practice on speed reading, it may have helped me, but I'm not too sure. Sweet. Thank you so much for your time, Jahin. It's been an no honor. Is there anything you'd like to say? Wisdoms, insights to the viewers? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Live life, quarantine. Live life. Try and enjoy quarantine. Stay productive. Oh, okay, yeah. I like that. Right, thanks for watching, lads. Thanks for watching. I hope that answers a lot of your questions. If you have any more questions, comment them down below and I will try my best to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I will forward them to Jahan who hopefully will answer them for you. A mistake I made was that I would skip questions and then flag them or not flag them. I can't really remember. And then I would go do questions which I found pretty cool, pretty like interesting. 
like mentally engaging. And I would get so, so involved with those questions that I would forget to answer the ones that I skipped. This happened once. I mean, it's not that often I didn't do this consistently, but then that one time it could have saved me a few marks and that in the grand scheme of things could have been quite significant. Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to do it the wrong way.